Hey everybody, welcome to Standing Still, where I speak the truth in love, because speaking the truth is love. I am your friend Jason, also known as Tyndale's Beard, uh, also known as fighting off a bronchial infection, and so I'm going to keep this one a little bit short and sweet, uh, but I do want to talk to you guys real quick about just uh, taking a stand for righteousness and what that looks like for the modern American Christian. Okay, we don't exactly have a whole lot of persecution going on. Uh, we're not in any really real danger for expressing our beliefs. You know, not yet anyway. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I don't have know a lot of Christians who have a problem with the, the idea of standing for righteousness. But um, I want to take a look at a kid song, a uh, popular Sunday school song, Dare to Be a Daniel. Um, and the chorus is, Dare to be a Daniel, dare to stand alone, dare to have a purpose firm, dare to make it known. Now, I do know a lot of people who would have a problem with the idea of standing alone. For these folks, you know, if they don't have a whole lot of support for what they believe is right, or even support from the right people, then they're too afraid to take a stand. Okay. Then there's uh, the line that says, dare to have a purpose firm. Okay, so there are those who claim the name of Christ who are actually more frightened of offending uh, a fellow human being than they are of offending God. So I'm talking about some of the wishy, the wishy-washy types out there who, in a conversation, you know, they'll agree with a sinner, they'll agree with a saint, it doesn't really matter. Um, they always know the right thing to say to the right people at the right time. They never want to be at odds with anyone ever. And that's, that's not a firm purpose, okay? If we have a firm purpose, uh, we're, we're going to be at odds with somebody. All right, finally... The song tells us to make our purpose known. And, okay, so here's where more people struggle. Um, they have no, they don't necessarily have a problem with what they believe or why they believe it, but they also see no need to call attention to it. You know, why, why spark controversy is, the, is their line of thinking. They're simply satisfied to maybe make a stand in their own mind without actually having to say anything or make an outward show to anybody. And... Um, you know, my question about that is, when did we as modern American Christians, when did we get to be so afraid of everything? Well, I submit that that occurred when American Christians, by and large, gave up a healthy fear of God and who he is. You know, nowadays, uh, modern American Christians, so afraid of upsetting their worldly friends and maybe their business connections, maybe their relatives. And so they're not even willing to stand up for anything, you know. Uh you know, there are times in a man's life or in a person's life when we need to stand up for what is right, even when we know that we can't win. Okay, so for instance, I recently uh, made a decision to speak to my city council about an uh, upcoming uh, dispensary and underage marijuana use that's going on in our hometown, in our home school. Uh, I wrote an article about it that's on my Facebook page. And, um, you know didn't really get a whole lot of support on that which was to be expected but also still a little surprising in some ways uh but nevertheless i went before the city council i uh made a fool of myself uh talking about this thing that nobody really cares about right the overall response to all this drug activity nobody cares it seems like very few people uh expressed any kind of support whatsoever in addressing this and so I am therefore I am fighting a battle there that I cannot win I, I know this uh, this new law in Minnesota is gonna legalize recreational marijuana I know that a dispensary is coming to my town and there's nothing that I can really do about it but I'm still gonna stand up and stand against it and you say why what is the point well sometimes the point is just in taking the stand just in choosing to stand for righteousness and letting people know and that's that's all that's really about uh, I will attach the video of my speaking at my city council uh, I was in notably better health that day but um, anyway it's a matter of <clears throat> I have I may I may be appearing to lose this battle and you may be appearing to lose your battle but we haven't lost it with the Lord okay We've actually already won when it comes to our Heavenly Father's approval if we're standing up for righteousness, as we ought to do. 
And seeing as how it is God's judgment that we will face in the end, maybe it's his word we ought to be following in all matters of not only faith, but practice in day-to-day -day living as well. So anyway, uh, enjoy the clip at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hoping to get some rest this weekend and start feeling better so that I can uh, uh, get back to making more videos and just doing all the things that I need to do. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. I am here because on Thursday, July 20th, I attended a public meeting hosted by Kinship Martin County in coordination with the Martin County Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition, or MIXAP. As a journalist, I heard information that I believe needs to be shared. Unable to uh, public, uh, print my story in a local publication, I chose to write and release the story independently as a series on my personal Facebook page, and I have shared that with the Fairmont City Council via email. In the first part of the series, there are several quotes from a speaker at the meeting describing several alarming events that are allegedly happening in, in the Fairmont Junior Senior High School among students vaping and ingesting edibles. I don't have a personal horse in this race other than as a citizen who does not want to see future generations endure a potential lifetime of suffering and hardship because of poor decisions made in youth. As stated previously, I am writing a series and the coming second part of the series will detail information shared at that meeting describing how cannabis use affects the human body. I do hope that as a city we would want better for our youth and ask that the council do everything legally possible to slow and fight the spread of a substance that will inevitably destroy lives. Lest anyone think I am just singling out marijuana, I take the same stand against alcohol, cigarettes, uh, strong prescription painkillers, and so forth. I do want to share that Shelley Larson of Mixap did reach out to me and ask me to share that according to Minnesota student survey data, most Martin County students choose not to vape, drink alcohol, or use other drugs. This is great and I am glad to hear it. Nevertheless, there are Martin County youth who are suffering from substance abuse and my concern for them remains. I hope that my story can play a small part in raising awareness of the serious and ongoing issue. Mr. Sigurud was up here. Um, the fact of the matter is, is that once the product leaves their store with a the customer, they have no control of where that product's going to end up. And if you read my story, you will see that students are already getting a hold of it. I am afraid that the coming dispensary is only going to exacerbate that issue. I do want to recommend that if they haven't already, folks check out MixApp online as they have more information and several resources to help combat substance abuse. I also want to recommend Smart Approaches to Marijuana Minnesota. Finally, I have two very important sentences I believe that I want to share with the council and with the public as a whole. And these words are of Jesus Christ from Luke chapter 17, verses 1 through 2. Then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible, but that offenses will come, but woe unto him through whom they come. It, would be it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he cast into the sea, than that he should offend one of these little ones. Thank you for listening. Thank you.